As the FIFA 2022 World Cup in Qatar is drawing to a close, it is leaving many rumors behind. The Lusail Stadium, which will host the final event, is one of the controversial subjects. It hosted matches during every stage of this year's World Cup. It will also host the final on December 18th, which is also Qatar National Day. On this day, 80,000 fans will come together in this stadium for the greatest FIFA World Cup final ever. And then, the stadium will go through a phase of repurposing. This stadium, which attracts attention with its flamboyant design and pays homage to the rich history of the country and region, writes a new page in Qatar's story. But another issue that makes the stadium more important is that Messi, who plays for the Argentina national team, which is one of the finalists in the 2022 World Cup, will also play his last World Cup match in this stadium. It is also a matter of great curiosity whether Messi will win the World Cup in this last chance. Furthermore, Kylian Mbappe, the star player of the French national team, will also play in the Lucille for the 2022 World Cup. Let's take a closer look at the Lucille Stadium before the 2022 World Cup ends. Modern, yet historic building, Lucille's design is inspired by the interplay of light and shadow that characterizes the old Qatari lamps. The design reflects the handcrafted bowls found all across the Arab and Islamic world during the rise of civilization. This is a reference to the traditional vessel used for serving dried dates and echoes characteristics of the golden age of art. The golden exterior of the stadium will also fade over time, emphasizing that Lucille has a living and cultural character. Fits for final. Up until now, Lucille has hosted nine matches, including the final, and matches during every stage of the event, which is more than any other Qatar 2022 venue. The auditorium with a net capacity of 88,966 is divided into two tiers. Each of them has an internal division into halves, which aims to offer the optimal location of pedestrian routes and places for the disabled. In the light of this information, it can be said that it is the most suitable venue for the finals, both in terms of usefulness and capacity. Close to public transport, football lovers are able to access the stadium by using the Doha Metro and arriving at Lucille QNB Station, which is on the red line and a short distance from the venue. Drivers are able to access the stadium from the Alcor Expressway. There are a number of park and ride facilities in close proximity to the stadium. Despite receiving a five-star rating for design and build and construction under the Global Sustainability Assessment System, some dark rumors are circulating about the stadium's construction. According to government figures, some 30,000 migrant workers were recruited by the Qatari government for the projects, many of whom came from Bangladesh, India, Nepal, and the Philippines. It is claimed that in February 2021, as many as 6,500 of those workers died during the construction of the World Cup facilities. A Community Hub The area where the stadium is built was chosen considering its proximity to accommodations, shopping, eating and drinking places, a health center, and a school. But apart from its current location being close to the civic facilities, the venue is to be partly converted into a public place. Schools, shops, cafes, medical clinics, and sports facilities are planned. After the end of the 2022 World Cup, upper tier seats will be dismantled and donated to a community which lacks sporting infrastructure. Green Stadium in a Green City it is said that the construction of Lucille employed sustainable building practices and wastewater recycling measures. 
the site conserved 40% more water than conventional stadium developments with the recycled water used to irrigate plants around the venue. Because the structure of the date bowl surrounding the stadium weighs up to 30,000 tons and measures approximately 1,200 feet in diameter, it rests on 48 slanted columns, creating a frame of 24 V-shaped supports. The columns alone weigh 6,271 tons, which is more than all the structural steel used in most football stadiums. The question of would it have contributed more to the environment if the stadium had not been built strains our minds.